What's going on agents? It's Lieutenant Buzz Lightbeer, and I've decided to start a weekly series built off of the vendor reset every Friday. However, unlike Eric's and Skill Up, I will not be covering all gear items at every vendor, but instead focusing on which vendors have the best weapons for sale this week. Weaponry, stats, and damage rolls really are my specialty, call it my niche, and I know many of you turn to my reviews to make informed decisions as to which weapons to equip. For this week's episode, I found four weapons that are worth taking a look at. First up at the Advanced Weaponry Vendor in the Base of Operations is a surplus SVD that will set you back a little less than 1.7 million credits. It comes with Prepared, Determined, and Disciplined. I would personally stay with Prepared and Disciplined and roll off Determined for something like Cool Headed. Base damage rolls for the SVD can range anywhere between 26,590 through 31,213, and this particular offering comes in at 30,048, which places it right around the 75th percentile for damage output among SVDs. Headshot damage percentages for DMRs can range between 141 and 172%, and in this area, this particular SVD comes in at near god roll status at 169%. Even though the base damage of this weapon is about 1,000 hit points of damage per shot away from being perfect, its combination of talents and near-perfect headshot damage multipliers get it on the list for this week. SVDs are excellent for sustained damage as they can make use of high percentage mag mods and have virtually no recoil, making them ideal for PvE. Next up at the special equipment vendor in the hub is a Liberator M4 that is worth taking a look at. Since update 1.6 is clearly stressing skill power, weapons like the Liberator will be more widely used in this upcoming meta. Currently costing 1,248 Phoenix credits, the Liberator comes with Competent, Dominant, and Talented. For a skill power build, a skill talent based M4 is a great way to start your build and I would only consider rolling off Dominant. M4 base damage rolls can range from 8,863 through 10,404, and this particular Liberator comes in at 10,316, which is 88 hit points away from being a perfect damage roll. The only stat that is a bit below average is the enemy armor damage at just 20%, as assault rifles can range from 17.5% through 24%. The third offering for this week's reset is an AUG A3 Para XS submachine gun available for purchase at the Crypt Safe House and it will set you back just a bit under 1.7 million credits. It comes with accurate, fierce, and unforgiving. The AUG is uber stable and accurate so I would immediately roll accurate off for another damage talent but keep the fierce and unforgiving talents as 1.6 will put a premium on critical hit percentage and damage. The AUG base damage rolls can range from 8,863 through 10,404, and this particular AUG comes in at 9,916, which is in the 68th percentile for damage rolls. However, the 39% critical hit damage percentage is a perfect roll, as SMGs can range from 29 to 39%. The final weapon to take a look at this week is a near god roll LVOAC available for purchase at the Wolves Den safe house. Talents for this weapon are unforgiving, brutal, and talented, and only talented should be considered for recalibration. Damage rolls for the LVOAC are the same as the M4 and range from 8,863 through 10,404, with this LVOAC falling in at 10,116. With this damage roll, it would fall into the 81st percentile for damage output amongst LVOACs. The only item not quite up to par is the enemy armor damage at just 19%, with ranges for the ARs being at 17.5% on the low side, up to a perfect roll of 24% on the high side. Even with the below average enemy armor damage percentage, the combination of unforgiving, brutal, and a good damage roll make this weapon something to consider purchasing this week. As always, I would love to hear your thoughts on my weapon vendor reset top picks for this week. Feel free to leave your thoughts in the comment section below. In addition, if you could take the time to rate the video with either a thumbs up or down, it would be greatly appreciated. If you want some more Lieutenant Buzz Lightbeer and my division content in your life, feel free to sub my channel and follow me on Twitter, at Lieutenant Buzz Lightbeer. If you have questions about any weapon in the division, look no further than my comprehensive weapon review playlist to answer any and all of your questions. And remember from my channel, likes, comments, subs are loved. Until my next division video, this has been Lieutenant Buzz Lightbeer saying peace out.